Uh, look how I eat my cereal. Look at my bowl. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Greedy. That's how I eat my cereal. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jasmine Lee here, and today I'm coming at you with a story time. So, um, this is just a story about the time I got busted while I was at Panera. So, I was about 18, and um, I worked at like the busy, it's one of the busiest locations downtown and it was lunch hour and at the time like I was, you know, girls when boys just trying to holler at you and you're just kind of like, eh, like you give them all kind of excuses like I'm gay or my phone's off or whatever, anything to get these men out your face, right? So I'm at work and I'm looking kind of cute at the time I was modeling still and um, you know, I was learning how to do makeup at the time, so my face would be kind of on fleek or whatever. And so, um, in walks this guy. He was like a white dude, kind of bald-headed, like, like, real bald-headed. Um, and he was watching me for a second, and I took his order, and then after I was done and he picked up his order from the other counter, he asked me for my number. Now, mind you guys, again, I'm 18. I didn't really know yet how to get a guy away from you. But I'll get into that after I'm done telling this little brief story. So, he asked for my number. Well, first he asked me what my name was, and I told him. And then he asked for my number. So, I gave him the number. Not my number, but a number. <laughs> and y'all, guess what he does? He calls it. He walks all the way across the restaurant, stands by the window, and calls the number. Now, mind you, I'm not even paying him no mind after that. I'm like, oh, phew, I gave him the number. He yelled my face like, I'm good, right? We're in the clear. Not quite. So, while he's calling and the phone's just ringing, I don't know if somebody picked up or if it just rang and rang and rang. And, you know, I don't know that part of it. But, long story short, he finds out that it's not my number. He comes up to me and he cusses me out. <laughs> he basically read me for filth. And then he said, if you didn't want to give me your number, all you had to do was say that. And I guess that's true. Like now in, in hindsight, um, you, you shouldn't give guys your number. And basically what made me want to tell you guys this story was earlier today there was this chick on Twitter and she uploaded a voicemail of a dude like kind of clowning her because he was like you shouldn't give me your number if he wasn't interested and I kind of feel him on that like you I don't know the best way that I found recently like as I've gotten older to get a man out of your face is to just say I'm not interested and they, they literally do go away like when you say you're gay well she can come too or when you say like you're you're I don't know any excuse you give these niggas they they just jump over every excuse so when you just say flat out I'm not interested they literally walk away and I that's my go-to now from now on I used to go as far as buying myself little fake engagement rings to say I'm married or I have a boyfriend just lying be be super single and just lying and they'd be like oh your man don't let you have friends like niggas are so annoying so anyways I'm saying all this and telling this story just to tell you ladies if a guy is approaching you and you're not interested just tell him honesty is the best policy so yeah I hope you enjoyed this little short story time and um, have a good day or night wherever you are ignore my boyfriend in the background eating his cereal or whatever you gonna sign off babe look I gotta hold on to my spoon uh, my daggone spoon about to fall in the milk. Oh, so anyways, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for more things that I have coming to my channel. I'm hoping to get more lookbooks. Well, I, I'm saying more like I got some. <laughs> I'm hoping to get lookbooks up soon. Um, do more tutorials and, you know, just having fun. My channel is full of randomness right now. So just stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day or night wherever you are. Bye, guys. It's very good. <laughs>